All right, ladies and gentlemen, now come on a big hand for Rory Storm and the Hurricane. Storm and the Hurricanes were one of the top bands in Liverpool between 1959 and 1962, bigger even than the Beatles. They shared the bill with the Fab Four on many occasions in their home city and in Hamburg, and their first drummer was none other than Richard Starkey, better known as Ringo Starr who left the Hurricanes to join the Beatles. The Hurricanes were leading lights of the burgeoning Mersey sound and the pulsating live act, led by their charismatic frontman, Rory Stone. Born Alan Caldwell, Rory was a natural performer who wooed crowds with his stage antics once even diving from a swimming pool highboard halfway through a song. But despite the band's huge following, fame somehow passed them by. Taxi cab! Thank you very much. After seeing Ronnie Donegan in concert, John and Alan decided to form a band. Red Hales joined them on washboard, John Carter on guitar and Jim Turner playing the T-chest bass. 
Alan Caldwell's Skiffle Group was born. Baby, I, I don't care. Well, now you don't wanna... The band found a number of local gigs around the Old Swan area at places such as St. Brendan's Hall, the Old Swan Pub, known as the White House, the Black Horse Pub, St. Oswald's Church Hall, St. Paul's Church Hall, Brockman Hall at St. John's Church in Tubrook, and on Darby Lane at Old Swan Youth Club and Martin's Dance Centre. They went down pretty well and were getting themselves noticed. Alan had become the lead singer. Everyone was welcome at Rory's house in Broad Green Road and the house was usually full. Violet was a night owl and would treat her son's friends to chip butties, cheese barms and endless supply of tea. The guitars would come out for a sing-song that caused the neighbours to bang on the walls and Ernie to shout from upstairs, I have to be up for work in the morning. The Beatles called Violet, Violent Vi, and Ernie, the Crusher. It was all just through affection. Many members of other bands would also visit the house, with Silla Black and Bob Willer being regulars. Bob called Vi, Mar Storm. Everybody loved Vi, and Paul and George were very close to her. So many famous people have walked on the tiled doorstep at 54 Broad Green Road. Alan Ernest Caldwell was born on 7th of January 1938. He'd always been an entertainer since he, when he was a boy, and a talented athlete too. Despite the stuttering, he was a singer and one of the greatest showmen ever witnessed in a Liverpool dance hall. But most of all, he was a true, sweet person who'll be forever missed by many. From Iris's words, he made me laugh and he made me mad. He is my friend, my hero, and my big, handsome, talented, and also loving brother. His name was Rory, and music was his story. Charles and his family lived at 49 Pemberton Road. Young Charles became a very talented amateur boxer as well as a very good guitar player. He had been a pupil at St Oswald's School and attended the church there. He first played with the group on the 4th of April 1959 at the Alexandra Hall in Crosby. When you see me, misery, come on baby, you might be here. Thank you, all music. 
High Cats, and now we have the sensational Lou Walters with Kathy's Clown. Take it away, Lou. Lou and his family moved to Old Swan area after their house in Vauxhall was bombed during World War II. They first moved to 11 Ulster Road when Lou was around three years old. Then shortly after, they moved to the house on the green. He would jump over the back wall here to get to school that was next to his home. This is where he lived as a hurricane. Iris and their dad attended the All Saints Church. Iris married Shane Fenton here. This is Highfield Secondary Modern School, attended by Rory and Lou. Vincent's Hospice. Rory's dad Ernie was a volunteer here. He collected books, papers and magazines to read to patients. The barber shop where Rory worked. The original site of Curzon Cinema. Rory's sister Iris danced here. The house where Iris lived with Shane Fenton after their marriage. Shane became famous as Alvin Stardust. Winnie Max Dance School. Winnie was a good friend of Rory's mum Vi. Rory and Iris learned to dance here as small children. Johnny and Ty attended the St. Oswald's Church. Ty was married in the church and sadly had his funeral here too. St. Oswald's school is very close to the church. Both Johnny and Ty attended the school too.
basement of a large Victorian house named Balgarni at 25 Old Hill Park was used by Old Caldwell's Texans to practice. Alan and John came up with the idea of turning the cellar at Balgarni into a club. It was called The Morgue and it opened on the 13th of March 1958 without permission from the authorities of course. The opening night was a success with the Texans playing alongside the Quarrymen who featured John Lennon and Paul McCartney. Some say George Harrison auditioned for the Quarrymen here. The constant complaints of a neighbour named Mr Brown forced the club to be closed on the 22nd of April 1958. Right, so finish off now with, hello Mike, hi Mike. This is Old Swan Youth Club, which was attended by Rory, Johnny, Lou and Ty. The Hurricanes played here with Ringo on drums. This is Martin's dance school. Rory, Johnny, Lou and Ty attended dance lessons here. On Wednesday the 27th of September 1972, Vi and Alan were found dead in their house. The funeral was handled by Craven and it took place on 4th of October. The service was held at the Oakvale Church on Broad Green Road. Johnny Guitar carried the coffin of his friend. The coffins were carried side by side into the church as they entered. Rory's favourite song was sung by those gathered, You'll Never Walk Alone. Sunday the 26th of June 2016, a launch party took place marking the publication of Anthony Hogan's book From a Storm to a Hurricane. It took place at the Latham Hall and was attended by some of the surviving members of the band, Lou Walters, Vince Earl and Jimmy Tushingham.
Storm and the Hurricane. Ain't I in a well, whoa! 